Hey folks, happy Monday. It's a rainy Monday today, where I am at least. I'm coming at you with a quick thought that's been kind of coming up, I don't know, fairly often for me in the past couple weeks, and that is that not all folks heal from trauma or deal with trauma or process trauma or affected by their trauma in the same way. And as somebody who often compares their experience, my experience, to others as a way of minimizing my own pain and struggles, this is really important and helpful. Um, yeah, like, so part of this is inspired by the body keeps the scorebook. Part of this is also just inspired by the conversations I've been having with friends and family and the things that we've been talking about and they've been going through too. And yeah, you could be a war vet and come back and not have PTSD. And you could get in a car crash, live, and and actually and get PTSD. And <clears throat> I think what really helped put it into perspective, because initially on the outset, my critical voice in my head, and just probably the way I was raised, would look at that contrast that I just gave and say, oh, well, the person in the car crash is weaker. You know, they just, they're, they're weaker. They got PTSD from a car crash when, you know, this war, like this war vet, this vet, um, yeah, could have seen many, many people killed, killed people themselves. I'm like, they're fine, you know? So that would be my initial reaction. But it was really helpful. My youngest sibling actually put it into this perspective and, they're saying, you know, it's all about the kind of support you had around the time when you experienced trauma. That is one of the greatest indicators of whether you will develop PTSD or experience those trauma symptoms following the incident. If someone was well supported after something terrible happened to them, they will, they're more likely to heal and move past it in a healthy way but and this is yeah especially important when we're talking about um victims of sexual violence especially when you're really young if a young person experiences something terrible and is violated and they don't have anyone to talk to like that could be unprocessed unpro trauma that they are holding and bearing for a lifetime and a lot of people often don't even realize that something happened to them much later in life which is also why I feel like it's even more important to um, to try to believe victims and not yeah immediately go into judgment of well why do you say anything sooner you know because there's a lot of reasons why someone would not bring something like that up but we often block out terrible memories entirely. And it's something that the body keeps. The body keeps the scorebook talks about um, how our memories are inconsistent and um, incomplete. And and anyway, yeah, if you are not were not supported, you could be experiencing even just like literal physical chronic illness. And that could be attributed to the stress of a trauma without you even knowing that that trauma happened until, you know, a memory or a kind of therapy unlocks that for you. Um, often a lot of that, those feelings and are like trapped in our body, manifest in our body. And then, yeah, just such an interesting book, but that concept of you know, you cannot ever make a direct comparison of, well, this person went through that and I went through this, so I should be fine. I should just get over it or suck it up, whatever. Um, it's not, you. yeah, it just doesn't work because you don't know <laughs> what that person went through to get to where they are now that they seem, seem healed. And you don't know what, yeah, support they had versus what you had. And everyone has different narratives in their heads based on how they were raised 
that make it easier or more difficult to be gentle with ourselves, to interpret things happening to us as just an incident and not a reflection of the world being a terrible, scary place. Like, there's just... Yeah, there's more to the story, and I know it's it's a lot, it feels easier to tell ourselves a simple story, but that's not life. Life is messy, it's black, it's not just black and white, there's a lot of gray, and so, yeah, I don't know. I hope that this little tidbit maybe helps give you just a touch more grace for yourself, the way I feel like it has been for me, of course, I'm still not there yet <laughs> um so much more work to do but this was just a helpful little like reminder um and to and a and a yeah a good prompt to reflect on yeah the support that i had when i went through some of the things that i went through and how that may have led to it things affecting me differently um than other people so anyway hope wherever you are you're having a good one and I'll see you in the next one.